wish to know mm -hmm. and so well and uh, and yesterday I forgot to uh, I don't remember afternoon or after I break I, I don't remember to uh, to say something about the infinite about the actual infinite and this is important even if maybe each of you is, uh, is uh, well aware of this, but just briefly, you know, um, the infinite can be understood in two ways. One uh, is uh, what Hegel calls the bad infinite, and uh, what we uh, we may call the potential infinite in a position for Hegel to the good infinite, of course, and for us to the actual infinite. So what is a bad or potential infinite? That is a, the infinite which would be better named as an indefinite. That is a, the infinity which goes all the time uh, further. That is when you come without end, add the unity to the unity. One plus one plus one plus one, or, or zero comma two to zero comma two. So uh, this is a endless <coughs> infinite. All the infinite has as a process a process which can uh, all the time go further <coughs> all the time as well be stopped but being stopped it is stopped uh, somewhere on the way and the rest of the way uh, is still open or possible. And so there is a potentiality. The actual infinite is the infinite as a presence, the infinity of a presence. That is not finite, not finite, that is not uh, uh, not taken in a, in a limit, in an enclosure, but at the same time not, not going still further, but having in itself, in the actuality of its presence or being there, the infinity itself. Now this is the infinite according to the, uh, how is it called in English, the Théorie des Ensembles. Hmm. Théorie des Ensembles. No, not the ensemble. Theory of groups? Hmm? Set theory. Set theory? Set theory. Set theory. Maybe set theory from Cantor. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah that, sure. That yeah. Set theory. So, and, <coughs> no, according to the uh, theory, the, the, the infinite is an, I would say an ensemble, we will use set, a set um, from which you can, you can make a correspondence or a correlation from each element to each other of another set. And for example, I can take this, this uh, uh, portion of line, this line. And uh, I come from each point in this line, because in this line th there is an infinity of points, because the point has no dimension. So, mm, at the same time, I can say, I can infinitely add points into the line, or I can say, I have a correlation between all the 
the infinity of point of this line and the infinity of point of this line here, or, or, or with the diameter of the universe, if you want, if there is a diameter of the universe, if there is a universe, <laughs> and not the, the, the multiverse. <laughs> so, <coughs> in the second, the second meaning, the infinity is not, is not going, going, Further, but is in the presence of an infinity, which doesn't mean that the infinity is present <coughs> in uh, the way of uh, being taken as such and then being finite. So it remains infinite, non-finite, but in, <coughs> in, in its presence there is an infinity. And I would say, beyond the, the line, I would say uh, this is like the presence of somebody, that somebody, anybody, this is perhaps the, the, the last, the last and the, and the most important uh, meaning of the equality, of, of the equal value or dignity of every human being, if not of every being in general, <coughs> is that there is there in his or her presence in actual infinity. That is, that is uh, this presence is we can call an individual or a person or whatever. Maybe maybe better singularity, but uh, even an individual or a person is made of uh, many singularity, maybe an infinity of singularity. I would say, but, but it is, it is maybe a kind of different problem, but singularity <coughs> means the actual presence of an infinity. That is, this person in, at this moment, in this uh, behavior, uh, with this kind of presenting itself, with this precise singular kind of coming into presence, is an actual infinite. That means I don't have to add something to, to make it or him or her, uh, I don't know, more complete, more perfect, more, more, what? No. It, he, she is in the present absolutely uh, complete. But this completion, this totality is an infinity. That is, I, I cannot take it into a, a finite so, and this is, this is about what uh, I was thinking when I uh, spoke about uh, the actual infinity. Well, and now I would like to go from, to, to take a second step, uh, to go from the mystery to the Sacred. Those, of course, the two notions are related, obviously, mystery and the sacred. One could say every uh, mystery is sacred and every uh, sacred thing. Uh, is mysterious or has 
something from the mystery. But uh, the accent are different. And the meaning are different. What is a sacred? Uh, <clears throat> and with the sacred, see, we will, of course, again uh, be uh, on the border of religion and again uh, of art. What is the sacred? The sacred uh, first has nothing to do with the secret. Just to say that because it is frequently thought that sacred and secret would be uh, all the same. No. Uh, etymologically, they are not the same. The secret is taken apart from sacred, and the sacred, uh, the sacred is uh, is uh, from the starting point, from the beginning, is a sacred word. Is is a, is a word belonging to religion. Sacred is what is under a certain um, law, religious law, that uh, in a way or in another, that uh, is forbidding to uh, access to the sacred thing. The sacred thing or sacred being is something or some being you don't have the right to touch it. To touch, uh, sometimes to look at him, sometimes to hear it. But I say to touch because uh, touching is, uh, is maybe the the main, the, the, the most frequent uh, form of uh, sacred, or of making something sacred, or, or of signalization of something as sacred. You don't touch. Uh, and the forbidding of touching is, as Freud says in Total and Tabu, uh, is uh, uh, perhaps, and not perhaps, certainly, the most expanded form of forbidden. Uh, later, I don't know, uh, maybe tomorrow, uh, if we have time, I would like to, to, to speak about, about touching. Just for, for now, take the touch as a, the, the closest way to approach something, because to, to touch, to touch is to touch, is, is not, not to enter, not to penetrate the thing. Of course, if you enter, if you penetrate, then uh, in a way or in another, you, you destroy the thing. So sacred, of course, is, is not to be destroyed. Or, or besides in, in, in certain cases, sacred can't be destroyed. Is, uh, uh, is uh, offered to destruction by everyone. This was the meaning in Rome of um, a sacred man. Uh, a sacred man, Homo Sacer, was a man taken or pushed apart of the city, of the law. So forbidden, forbidden to every relation and contact, or touch, and to, to every relation with um, everything, everybody in the city. But at the same time, it was allowed to kill him if, if you want, if you need. So the, the sacred thing is the thing rejected out, rejected or posited out of 
the realm of the relation and of the otherwise relation behavior and so on. And so sacred is opposite to uh, what we call prof profane in French, it is Latin to say profane. 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 And you know, prof the, so it should, the profane means in Latin uh, for the temple. Fanum is a temple. Profane is for the temple, that is out of the temple, not in the temple. In that sense, the, 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 the real word for sacred would be Fanum. That is in the temple, or, or not, not Fanum, but uh, in Fanum. But, well, it doesn't exist. But sacred means exactly that. What is in the temple? And you know, the temple, the temple uh, everywhere, in every, uh, every religion, the temple is a place where, where you have different, uh, different uh, law habits, custom, but where either you, you are not admit to enter or only only certain person, example the temple of Israel in the in the, 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 the what's called the the Saint Saint of Holy of the Holy uh, in the temple of Israel was the place where only the great priest was allowed to enter. Inside was the Torah. Uh, in uh, I know in, in, um, in the mosque, uh, in some countries, not in all the countries, uh, the non Muslim people are not allowed to enter. In the Christian church, uh, everybody is allowed to enter, but you, if you are not a priest, you are not allowed to enter the, not exactly enter, but the, the place where the sacred uh, body of Christ, that is the hostile, you see, hostile, hostile, the host, the host, the host, the host, the the host, the the host, 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 that is a tabernacle. Mm -hmm. So to, to take it, you have to be yourself sacred. A priest is a consecrated person. It is a, it, he, he, because in the church he is only a man, he is uh, himself sacred. Allow to him to go there with his arm to take to take uh, the also or or you know this um, uh, what is called the, the ostensoir or the monstrance mm, a very old thing maybe <coughs> if you never seen that you know this thing in God like a sun you know and, and with a place. In the middle, where the priest take the uh, big, big host you know, from mm -hmm. Sabbath, and, and it remains uh, on the altar for the adoration. Uh, well, anyway, the the temple temple is nothing else than the space. For the sacred, the space where the sacred is admitted, you know, or where the sacred belongs, and from which the limit is a limit of 
forbidden. You know, from, from where the temple uh, comes, the templum, templum uh, as the origin, it was not a Latin, but it was an Etruscan, Etruscan word, <coughs> and it was the space designed in the sky by the um, full of terms like augur. So augur, augur, of course, uh, that is the priest able to to say the forecast. Not not about the weather, but uh, about uh, augur. the event. Augurio is Spanish. Augur, yes. Augur. Augur. Ogre, you say ogre, that's an ogre. No, the ogre has a, 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 a stick, a special sacred stick, of course, and with the stick, the ogre did that, and within the frame, he designed, so he designed without any trace. You know, to, uh, this, this is what, what is very um, fascinating in this history of the temple, that is, it was traced without any trace. So, over to, to that, and so, how to say, memorize <laughs> the, the frame, he designs it, and he look at, he or, or the would be many together, he look at if one bird and which bird or how many birds would uh, go through the temple. And uh, the forecast or the prophecy in this meaning, the prophecy, prophecy in the right sense is another meaning, but uh, the forecast was taken from, I don't know, example, it was three, three uh, rays, no? Ray, Kongu, hmm? um, going through, or I don't know, one Raven. or uh, etc. And uh, each time the ogre had a, a, a code of translation, of interpretation of the uh, <coughs> of uh, what uh, what the meaning was. So what happened in the temple is sacred. That is, it, it is enough to enter the temple to to go, in this case, of the, the bird, of other, to, to go through the temple, it is enough to, for a while, uh, become sacred, that is, to give a sign, a sacred sign. So, to give a sign from what? From the other, I would say, the other part of the world, the part that does not belong to to the normal world. The same bird out of the temple is again a normal bird. But in the temple becomes a sign. So the second is is what is taken in the templum and in a certain extent, one could say the templum is more important. The templum comes first. The templum is the, the frame, the limit, through which the sacred is made sacred. Bird becomes sacred because the over traces the templum. Uh, and uh, this is the, the case in certain uh, form of temple where uh, there is nothing in the temple, just the, the frame. This is the case in the mosque, uh, especially from this, this part of the mosque, which is a mihab. The mihab, uh, you know, is the, the place uh, in, in the wall of the mosque, the place oriented toward Mecca. Uh, an empty place, just a uh, creuset. Um, uh, 
not open to you? Creuset, excavated. Excavated, thank you. Excavated in the wall and decorated, but there is nothing there, nothing in the mihrab. But when you pray in the mosque, you turn yourself toward the mihrab, and the mihrab itself is turned toward Mecca. So there is nothing in the mihrab, and uh, in the mosque there is nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> nothing, nothing, of course, like a mosque, uh, nothing even li like uh, the, the, the second book, uh, unlike the Torah in the synagogue. Mm. And there uh, are, there are, uh, some other temple uh, in Orient where there is nothing, just the place. Just the place. And the, the place is a place where the sacred is present and even present by its absence. In a certain extent, I think. We could say that uh, maybe every temple has uh, something from the absence, uh, even the presence of the of the host, the, as the, the body of Christ, is a kind of absence. It is called the real presence, but it is a real presence in the absence of, of uh, something like a, a body. Uh, I think everywhere, everywhere the temple is the, the frame or the limit <coughs> around a certain kind of absence or of presence presenting itself as an absence. An absence which is not what we know as an absence, that is, if, uh, one is not here, is not here. But it is a, the absence as the way to be present. The absence as uh, the way of presenting uh, itself in the distance, <coughs> far, and that is all the time uh, too far to be touched, or to be seen, or to, to, to to become an object of any kind of, <coughs> of perception as such. Of course, I, I perceive the, the, I perceive the, the host or I perceive the, 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 the Torah, but what I perceive is not the thing itself, the thing, the thing, the real thing, the sacred thing is not to be perceived. Mm. So this is the first character of the sacred and the uh, and second one which goes with the first one is that uh, the sacred is dangerous. There is all the way, always a geopardy linked with the sacred. It is dangerous to, to, to come near to the sacred, dangerous if you are not allowed to do that if you are not consacred. In the Middle Age, uh, the people who was not already baptized, because at this time the, the, the people were not baptized as children but as adults, you know, all the, the non-baptized people did not have the right to enter the church and they stay uh, in the profanum, out of the church, uh, before the, the, before the uh, entrance to the church. But what, what does that mean? All this 
joy will settle. That doesn't mean and do we have something to do today with the sacrament? If we are not uh, or out of the religion, if, if we are not in the realm of the uh, uh, religion, um, what do we have to do with the sacrament? I would say we have to do the same as with the mystery. And uh, the sacred is a, I would say, is a, is a character yes, of the mystery. And in opposition to what we are ready to think, I think we all know very well what sacred is, and we know it almost every day everywhere. <coughs> How? Just think that we don't touch each other uh, everywhere, every day, you know, to go go in the street. It's a sphere. You, the first person you encounter, you will not Touch him, uh, uh, only by giving the hand. If you give the hand to the first people of the street, he or she will be, what, what do you want? Uh, maybe, he, he, maybe he or she will be afraid. So, just say, we, we know, we know, and I would say we know exactly, at least with touching, uh, touching the same time what it means to to see to see people in a, in a certain circumstances that <coughs> see the people naked that is not alone it, it, there, there, there are there are some some uh, some interdiction or forbidding which belong to the law to for example, it is forbidden to go naked on the street. Uh, but this forbidding, uh, which we understand from the first moment, I would say. Uh, for example, it is it is a problem. Maybe you know it is a problem now in France with the so-called boca, uh, the you know the, the, or it's called the integral veil that some Muslim women, some, some, a few prayer, which has nothing to do with uh, the Muslim religion as such, but which is a, a religious sacred custom in certain countries in the Middle Orient. And um, there are people in France and people that the French government uh, wants to make a law to forbid the uh, wearing this uh, boca. And uh, even the what's called the Conseil d'État, the State Council in France, uh, already twice gave an, an advice contrary to this intention. The Council of State states. Uh, it is impossible to find uh, legitimacy for a law that would forbidden a certain kind of uh, dress, clothes, everywhere on the street. Of course, it is normal to forbid that, uh, that the people avail his face in certain circumstances, uh, you know, going to, to, to the administration or going to to take a, a child at the school, uh, or you know, uh, it is well known even in Arabic countries that Boka uh, can be a, a way to, to do a lot of things. I can take a Boka, <laughs> or in Egypt, uh, in Egyptian universities, there are problems for the examination with women with. Uh, Total weight, uh, they have under the weight everything with the uh, you know, iPhone, etc., to 
and the wall is So on cross uh, recorded. But but this this beside beside of that beside of certain uh, circumstances where where the normal uh, policy uh, security and control of uh, uh, society allow to to take such measures that to forbid uh, this kind of Dressing. A part of that, the, the, the Council of State said, it is not possible because there is nothing, nothing in the in the in the human right to allow that, which means that, contrary to the to the uh, necklace or nakedness. Uh, nakedness. Hmm? nakedness. Yeah, nakedness, yeah. Contrary to the nakedness, which obviously uh, cannot <coughs> be allowed on everywhere on, on the public space, the contrary of the nakedness uh, cannot be forbidden. Why? Because with the nakedness, we know, we all know, that we are close to something which has to do with the sacred. And there is no one people on the earth, no one, which uh, live uh, totally naked. E even, even people who are uh, almost naked for us, they still have something, even if it's only tattoo. Or, but uh, uh, no people are absolutely, totally uh, naked. So nakedness is uh, is uh, by itself has something sacred in it. On the opposite side, the, the burqa or whatever it is, uh, there are other names, but uh, the, the burqa becomes a generic name in France. Uh, the burqa is is an affirmation of sacredness, that is, the body of the woman is sacred and belongs only to his uh, husband. Of course, of course, there, there is there a, a, a lot of problem, and of course uh, it is, it is uh, absolutely not only possible but necessary to argue that uh, According to the human right, uh, this is a way to imprison uh, the woman and to that you, you can say a lot, a lot of things. But to say that you have first to enter the the system of uh, consecration, which is there at stake. This is why. Uh, uh, well, this is sad, but this is why I am, and I am not uh, alone, but uh, many people, in, in many, but not the majority, unfortunately, majority of the French people uh, are for this forbidding the Boca, but it is a, an expression of uh, some racism and anti Islamism, uh, which has a uh, Certain reason we can understand, but that is, that is another matter. You know? It is a question of precisely what is called Islamism. Uh, this is something else. But uh, there is no reason to uh, forbid that <coughs> more than any other kind of clothes that would be related to a kind of sacred belief. Uh, of course, of course, it would be better to to change the mind of those people. Of course, of course, it is well known that uh, some of those women uh, does not wear the burqa by choice, but by force. Okay, 
But Satan do it by choice, especially recently converted uh, women. So what, what, what could you do if you are in front of a woman who sincerely tell you, I like, I like that, I, I like to be there, I like to have my body uh, sacred and uh, forbidden for every people or every man because uh, to our only woman it is allowed to, to invade the body. Uh, <coughs> what, what, what can you say at that? Because if you, if you say no, it is forbidden because the, the, the human right and your own freedom uh, is opposed to that, then you are hurting a certain feeling of sacred. And this is not that easy to judge that the pure the, uh, um, human uh, freedom as it is started by our human right has the, the right and according to the right the force to oppose, to be opposed to this other feeling of sacred. And why? And for, for, for a simple reason. The reason is that there is no or no much sacred with human rights. Of course there is, so, there is something sacred at the heart of the human rights, that is that uh, human uh, life uh, is sacred, uh, and uh, not only the life, the biological life, but uh, the existence, <coughs> the dignity. But precisely, if you if you go a step further and you say that every human existence in his dignity uh, has to be respected, then you build a kind of uh, profound sexuality, if you want. Then you have to, to, to pay attention to these people who say, for me, it is sacred to, to wear this veil. You know? This is very complicated. Uh, so I, 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 uh, I pay, I consacre some some time to that because I think it's a very uh, good example of the, the complicated situation of the sacred which uh, at the same time is uh, something uh, which necessarily uh, build or produce some behavior uh, and, and law, but uh, uh, regle, regle, I would say regle, uh, law. Law. Mm -hmm. law. Law, but law is a law. Law is a law. Regulation. Regulation. Mm -hmm. regulation. Regulation, yes. Some regulation <coughs> that uh, the other has to, has to respect. And, and those, <coughs> to say, like, private or special uh, regulation may be opposed to the apparently obvious regulation of uh, our um, non-religious and uh, purely human uh, regime of, of law and of, of rights. But precisely the, the failure of human rights may be in the absence of sacred or the absence or the <coughs> difficulty we have to say how and why and how the human being as such is or should be sacred. Of course we use the word sacred I think it in, in a, a thousand of discourse of politicians, 
you have the world sacred. Human being is sacred, human life is sacred, and so after after <coughs> after all the massacres of wars, etc., etc., which uh, occurs all the time around the world, you, you have this world sacred. But there is no real um, consecration, I would say, of this sacred. One could say that it was never and all the time uh, through all the religion uh, it was all the time the transgression of the sacred uh, law was uh, possible, not all, all, but possible and, and uh, effective. But, nevertheless, when and where there is a reference to some sacred order, when it is said, this is sacred because, because you know, my God, ancient custom, whatever, um, it is very difficult to <coughs> enter that because you, you can enter and, and, and discuss that only if you are able to enter <coughs> the system of sacralization or consecration itself. And how to enter that without in one way or the other without destroying the, 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 the system of sacralization. There is another, uh, so, so the case of the Broca is, is complicated, is a, uh, I think it's a, it's a very, very uh, uh, dangerous uh, case, in, uh, only in terms of politics and society, but as well in terms of uh, understanding of uh, religious uh, aggregation and habits uh, in general. There is another case which is much more uh, difficult and which is uh, much more difficult and in another way more simple, that is the, in a very terrible case of excision. You know? uh, I don't know how it is uh, in other countries, in, in, in France and in Europe, there are Despite uh, any any uh, public law, etc., there are many excisions are practiced by <coughs> African women on uh, <coughs> girls. Uh, it is much more obvious for us that excision has to be forbidden because this time is not only a matter of clothes because you can change clothes. It is a matter of the body, the body of the uh, woman, and uh, once a woman is is uh, excised, uh, Circum female circumcision. What is this circumcision? Cl clitoral circumcision. It's yeah. called a clitoridectomy. Mm -hmm. Clitoridectomy. Ah, clitoridectomy. Oh, you don't say excision. Ah, we say excision, excision. because the uh, clitoridectomy is. Only one part. So you have the, the clitoridectomy and That's the true. total excision, which oh, yes. is with the excision or how it's called the nymph or the, you know, with the small lips. And, and excision and so the So for us, the, the, the current term is excision. And circumcision is only for the, the men. Mm -hmm. you know. So circumcision, don't, besides the circumcision, which is a, 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 a sacred. Uh, custom don't have any problem because it yeah. has nothing to do with uh, in a way with the integrity of uh, uh, the male body. You know? uh, yes, it has to do with this, this part of the body, but this part has no, it is, has no consequences uh, on the sexuality, uh, but the, so the Clitoridectomy and, and other the complete excision in all has consequences of the sexuality. Of the, so it is so <coughs> it is 
quite uh, beyond any any discussion that it has to be forbidden, and it is forbidden. <coughs> and, and when uh, uh, some African women are um, <coughs> taken, having done that, they are condemned. But what is what is uh, what remains as a, as a problem is that it is uh, all the time almost impossible to convince those women that they should not do that. Of course, they are in Africa, in Africa itself, and in, in Europe, there are young African women, sometimes maybe some men, I don't know, but some African women are fighting for that, are fighting to, to educate uh, other women starting to, to make them understand. But the, the, the difficulty to convince those women is not, is not due to the fact that they, they would be stupid or, or, or sadistic. No, that is, this, this, is, this is something which belongs so deeply and for such a long time to, to entire culture in Africa that uh, so it belongs as, as a second uh, <coughs> regulation, yes. that, <coughs> that you, you cannot you cannot enter the intelligence, the understanding of somebody if this understanding belongs to a sacred order or if in this understanding, uh, something like the sacred order is understood, so it's taken in, and uh, it is not so that easy to to destroy this order because this order be belongs to, to the to to the whole uh, habit, history, uh, representation of of one culture. So that means that uh, mm. the sacred. So I don't say that to say. I say that only to say that uh, this is this is very difficult. Uh, fighting some sacred uh, disposition is very difficult because it implies the totality of the country <coughs> on one hand, and on the other hand, uh, it implies the totality of our culture, and our culture is precisely the culture where it is not that easy to, to show, to explain, to demonstrate what is sacred. Or, or we should uh, be able to, to say that we are the culture without sacred. Nothing is sacred. That nothing should be sacred has been, um, how to say, a, a mood a slogan. And, um, you understand that? Um, yes. Slogan. It has been. No, nothing has to be sacred. Nothing is sacred. No, no, no God. No, no authority. No custom. No uh, nothing. But, but. This is a point I, I, I want to come, but precisely we still have <coughs> at least a sense of the sacred. And the question we have uh, today, I think, is, is not the question how to go out of any sacralization. of any kind of sacred, but how to understand that we are still in the sacred even, even if we are separate and certainly separate for, for, forever from all those uh, kind of sacred uh, which 
are related to certain religious order. So I think sac it, it means something very simple. That is a sacred and religions are not the same. That means that uh, religion as observing uh, certain rituals, as we say uh, yesterday, is one thing. And this thing is, of course, uh, frequently to, to do with sacred, with some sacred thing. But, but, but <coughs> uh, to be out of any religious observance, any ritual, doesn't mean that we are not related to the sake. I would even uh, like to argue that maybe we are even more in relation to the sacred because between the sacred and us, so to say, uh, there is not the presence of the religious regulation of the religious forbidding and permission of the religious order of the, the, the priest or, or other people allowed to say what what you are permitted to do or what you are not, etc., etc. So the, the, there is maybe here an enormous task for us to do. That is, not to restore a new sacred, not to invent a new sacred, like if I would say uh, now, to today, uh, and I, I declare this, this tree is sacred, you, you don't have to touch it, or so this small column of stone, which is uh, on the border of the way, which is made li like in the, like what is the name in, in India or in Tibet, they do that. Maybe the Tibetan living there, which <laughs> in this, oh, there is a name for that. Nobody knows the name. Cairn. 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 A cairn, yes, but a cairn, cairn is, a, is, a, is a profound name. There is a, a religious sacred name. Anyway. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, so are you saying so this absence of presence that was in the temple, are you saying now that's moving out of the temple and into into space outside? So we're not confined by a religious structure and then we enter this absence inside the temple, which is the sacred presence. But then without these structures, this absence then moves outside. Is that what you're saying? With um, yes, that's a good question. You're right. uh, it would be a way to say that, but if I say that is sacred presence as an absence is going outside, <coughs> it can be understood in two ways. Either it goes outside, and the temple remains empty. This is, this, I would say this is the first step. This is the step of Nietzsche. You know the paragraph of the, the Gaia Scienza, <coughs> where Nietzsche, uh, where the, 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 mad, the mad man says, God is dead, and, uh, and he says, all the churches and the temples are the cemetery of God. So that's the first step. I mean, we are now maybe in a second step. That is, that uh, there is no longer an outside of the temple because there's not that many temples. Of course, there are temples everywhere. But the, the 
real uh, space we are living in is no longer a space where you have the temple here and out of the temple. Here. Or if, if you go in the temple, uh, this in, in our countries, but in other countries, there is nobody there. Or, or which is something else, or there are a lot of people, but a lot of people <coughs> who, who, it, uh, who are who are precisely in the, we are, who are returning to a, a, an interior of the temple, there's a sacred place where they, they pay time and, 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 and energy you know, to condemn what is outside. Yeah, it seems I'm so, not with no, just to say now, I would say the, the limit of the temple are as large as the limit of the world. Yeah. So the world, the entire world is our temple. But what does that mean? Uh, that means that uh, uh, at the same time there is no temple because the temple is necessarily a limit. There is no temple, but at the same time, uh, the whole space of the world is, uh, to say, like a temple uh, that is, <coughs> that is, that the limit of the temple, of the previous temple, the limit of the temple was the limit opening to some uh, hidden space, precisely the sacred space. And, but when there is no longer another space, another <coughs> world, a, a world behind, and uh, Nietzsche says arrière monde, how to translate that? Um, arrière, uh, behind world, beyond. world behind. Uh, uh, if there is no longer, I think this, this, is, this is an event of the modern time, there is no other world. There is no after world or behind world. Or, mm -hmm. like, uh, like, you know, the, it was a joke at the time of Gagarin, that is the first, uh, you know, the first uh, Russian um, spationaut, mm -hmm. cosmonaut. It was a joke to say that Gagarin says, no, there is nothing there, you know. I was in the heaven, there is uh, confusion between sky and heaven, you know. and, um, but precisely uh, philosopher Levinas wrote a, a very nice text about Gagarin, and <coughs> Levinas says, Gagarin is right, there is nobody there, there is nobody nowhere, there, there is no, <coughs> there is no another space, another realm, but, but, then that mean that mean that the, if the whole world is a temple, that means at the same time that uh, the opening which the temple is or has been, <coughs> because the temple is an open, opening to our uh, otherness, other space. That is. So, the meaning is that the opening of the temple is everywhere. This is not that this is a big temple, you know, because if it would be a big temple, you see, the world as a cathedral, uh, or the big mosque, or the <coughs> wrong, then we, we would have to, to invent, invent, to cut the ritual uh, of the world. But without having any, uh, any, uh, any other space, any sacred space. But if we think that within the world, but then at each place in the world, and each place meaning uh, precisely exactly each place, that, that is, and then turning back to the actual infinite, each point in the world is 
a place for opening to one a sacred something if you want or a sacred absolutely taken a sacred which is, this time is not another world but is inside the world the opening of the world and I, I think that this is, this is precisely uh, what we are <coughs> looking for seeking for desperately seeking for like So the, the, the sacred space is not is not beyond the world. It's, it opens itself in the world. I think this, this is the way we, we, we can uh, we can maybe have a continuity be, uh, between the previous sacred and, and the question of the sacred today. But is that the opening in the world is not something. So now uh, it was all the time the, the case. The <coughs> and uh, I think all, all the religion did have the sense that the sacred is here, but here in the special place of the temple. We have to learn that the special place uh, may be everywhere and in everyone. Because, because I would say, for, uh, uh, no, I, I, I finished to, to answer to, to you. Uh, uh, of course, it is dangerous. Of course, it is dangerous because uh, to enter in relation with the sacred cannot be uh, something uh, as simple and to say innocent as to 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 come to Sarsfe, to attend a, a, a class, uh, or to give a class, uh, and to return home and uh, make a PhD and, and, and whatever. Yeah. To make a PhD maybe has some danger with it, but not very big. But, but to really enter in relationship with with people and with all the rest of the nature, with animals, with plants, that really enter, that is not without danger. And we know it, we very well know it. Uh, even if we, 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 we don't pay attention. 
attention to it. I think there, there is there is uh, one uh, one, say one place uh, where this is very sensible. Uh, this is sex sexuality. They, why do we today all the time speak of sexuality all the time, all the day, every day? Go now to the newspaper uh, store yeah, and you will have I don't know, 10 magazines with uh, sexuality counsel and recommendation and uh, etc. Et Why? It sells. Hmm? Because it sells. Because it sells and it's is, a natural is part. Because um, it sells. Like no, this is a word I don't understand. This Wrong. Word. People buy it. Ah. Yes, but why? Why? That, that's not an answer. Be, be, because of people. Because it's why, a replication why? of biology. No, 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 no. On no, the contrary. I believe exactly on the contrary. Yes, of course, it is presented as in it would be biology, but biology is not exactly biology. It's it psychology. And that, and that. But I think that behind that all, behind you, why? Be, behind the, 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 the marketing, the marchandising, the um, physiologicalism and psychological, etc. of the sex, there is something else. There is, there is, I think, the feeling, the secret, secret feeling that there is there something that is sacred. And I would say everybody knows it, even if everybody denies it, apparently denies it. So what you're saying is sex is sacred? Hmm? Are you saying sex is sacred? Of course. Okay. Of course. Of course. Of course I'm saying that. Uh, and, uh, and in, in this, this is so complicated that uh, uh, I think one could say at the same time what uh, has been called the sexual liberation, you say that? Liberation? That the sexual liberation uh, has been, of course, like a desacralization of sex. But this desacralization has been very complicated because at the same time it was. Uh, going out the, I would say the effects, sacralization, sacralization that what, no, uh, absolutely not a uh, sac sacralization or a consequence, but that was the, uh, the on one hand, uh, the ritual of different religion churches in different way, uh, one time it is, it is, I don't know, it is a, 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 a Christian way of it, and another time the Muslim way, it is different, and a third time it can be another religion, I don't know, somewhere else in the world. <coughs> but, so, uh, but, uh, so, ritual, moral order, uh, which all are, in a way, testimony of the sacred, nature of uh, sex, at the same time uh, did not, I would say, did not pay attention and respect to the sacred nature of sex, but wanted to have the control on sex. And this control is mixed, as you know, was mixed with a lot of things like family, the family is mixed with the, the <coughs> patrimony, uh, with the, the economy, transmission of the of the, the, the good of the family, etc., etc. So uh, and and all the time, all the time, a, a kind of uh, of confusion. Uh, confusion is too quickly said, but uh, to say conf to say confusion between the sex as such or the sex as being its own finality and sex uh, being for the reproduction. But uh, I don't like to say confusion because it is not 
on the confusion as if I would make confusion between water and vodka, you know, no, it's not the uh, same. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, because there, there is a relation, but it, it, it is a, 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 another, another topic to think about that. But no, I, but I, I just think that uh, sexual liberation at the same time has been the liberation of uh, something which was all the time sacred. All the time, in different way, very different way, but uh, uh, it was all the time sacred, and maybe was precisely sacred in the way it was opposed to the religious order, for example, of family, of reproduction, etc., etc. And uh, and the liberation of this, to say, this sacrality is itself uh, in, a, in an absolute ambiguity, you know, or ambivalence. On one side, everything is made to, 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 to sell, to sell, to sell uh, suppose uh, psychology, physiology, and, and, and to make the sex normal. I do it, it's normal. Everything is normal. Every perversion is normal. So, this is one way, but at the same time, at the same time, it is clear that uh, the, the consciousness and the feeling, even in the in the in the article uh, about that, is still that there is there something uh, you you cannot approach without besides without without a sense of sacred. And uh, maybe, maybe if, you, if you do, uh, that is perhaps not that good for, for sex itself. And this, this, this can't be felt uh, because precisely the... the uh, and I, I, I've read sometimes some of the, those uh, journals and you see the enormous quantity of proposition to be transgressive. Be, you know, not understand transgressive, transgression to, not to observe the ordinary uh, moral law. So, transgressive. For, for us, not before, so, uh, what is the transgression? The transgression started with not only to make love in the missionary position. You know? <laughs> yeah, but, but today we are very far from it. But, uh, um, but there is still this sense of the possible transgression. 